All right, people of YouTube, it's your boy M. Lee, and I'm here to give you guys a quick look at my Wi-Fi connection setup and just a brief um, demo of how I got everything set up. I watch, I just got done watching, literally just got done watching videos on YouTube on how to do this. There's not that many, and the ones that are on there isn't straightforward except for this one right here. I'm gonna pop the, uh, his YouTube channel up inside the description. But um, with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and make my own personal video because of this uh, issue uh, with not that many people having a video up on YouTube. So first and foremost, I'm gonna show you guys just a demonstration of you know how it looks and everything. I'm using an iPhone 6 connected to my, you know, of, of course my Canon C100 Mark II. And I got my Glade air freshener can on screen. And let's, let's look at the latency or the delay between when you pan the camera and move the camera versus when it gets to your phone. So you see there's like a, let me see, like a one second delay. One, one, yep, it's a one second delay. So don't use this as your main display. Use it as like a second or third display or just a remote. Use that as a remote to where you can see what you're doing and also change the settings. Speaking of change the settings, on the settings you have advanced controls, basic controls, you can flip between either. You can change the language from, from English to a different language. You can focus, so here's your focus settings right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on peaking so you guys can get a, a better idea if it's inside focus or not. Now one thing I don't like is that the peaking on the Canon C100 Mark II doesn't show up on the phone. So I can't see if it's inside critical focus on my phone given the fact that on your device, it's gonna be a little bit softer than what it's showing on camera, on the camera display. So um, let's go ahead and uh, throw this out of focus real fast. We're gonna press far, we're gonna press the, uh, the arrow that got three of them. So you can do critical focus too by pressing this one right here, the one that's, that has just one little arrow thing. And you can also pinch and zoom in as well. So that helps out a whole lot to see what's inside focus. I'm gonna go ahead and try and throw it back inside focus, see how fast I can do this. Um, near, you gotta like play with it. See, it's, in, it's out of focus on the, let me go ahead and, okay. There we go. It's a little bit more in focus now. All right, so it's all the way inside focus. You can also, on the side right here, you can view your f-stop. Shutter angle 180 um, and ISO 1600. You can also do the one shot autofocus if you want to. So let's go ahead and throw it completely out of focus. I'm gonna go up here and throw it completely out of focus. So you gotta have autofocus turned on on your lens. So I completely threw the focus completely out of focus and we're gonna press the one shot auto on the phone and see how good of a job it does. Go ahead and press that. Boom right inside focus. So like I said, you can use this as your remote. Now, as far as out in the field, I don't know how well this is gonna work. I've seen other YouTube videos of people just doing a demonstration of the overall Canon C100 Mark II and showing that you can use it as a, use your device as a second display and they were out on the field using it, but I don't know when it comes to crowds, how the interference is gonna work, stuff like that. Um, let's go ahead and throw it back out of focus again and then turn on continuous focus. I think that's what this is. Turn on that. So now, yep, so now my continuous focus is on. So as I turn and look at different things, you know, it's gonna focus on the different things like that. So that's the main thing this is gonna be a good job at doing. Oops, didn't mean to do that. It's gonna be a real, do a real good job at using it as your remote to, to do one shot autofocus, critical focus if you want. And then I can stop and start the camera uh okay for some reason it's not starting all right so i guess there's some kind of error i don't know what's going on with that but let me see something press record on the camera oh that's my own that's my own fault okay so i don't have a memory card inside my camera right now <laughs> My bad, people. So I don't got a memory card inside my camera, but if I did, I'd be able to press start and stop right there, and it'll blink, showing that I'm recording and things of that nature. I can turn off live view if I want by pressing that. So now, 
my screen is blank. Turn back on live view. Boom, now the screen is back on. I'm still, I need to figure out how to get rid of this little browser thing on top. That is kind of a distraction. I gotta always move this around in order to see all my controls. But other than that, that's gonna do it. It show, also shows my battery life and everything on my camera, which is very convenient. Or I can just turn my display on, but let's say my camera is somewhere else. You know, I can see all my stuff right here, the record timing and stuff like that and things of that nature. So this is actually my first time giving a tutorial with cameras. I never really give tutorials when it comes to cameras ever. So this is my first time, surprisingly, given the fact that I filmed so much stuff and for so many people. So with that said, um, how do we connect Wi-Fi? So bear with me, I just learned this myself. All right, so first thing you wanna do, and sorry if you guys can't really see the screen if it's too far away, this is the closest my lens can focus without being blurry, but, um, and it's a wide angle lens too, so that doesn't really help. So anyways, you go into the menu, go down to like this little tool setting, go over, go all the way down to network settings, boom. Connection setting, set up a new network, camera access point, input now all you want to do right here is just name whatever you want it to be you know something that you want to name your wi-fi setting for your camera put an abc just like the other guy did for his tutorial okay then once you click okay it's going to bring you to input or okay go to input oh no we're done with that we don't need to input anymore that's if you want to edit it go to okay after you're done inputting whatever name you chose bam five gigahertz or 2.4 gigahertz i chose five what channel you want, I'm going to go to 40 since I already got one set up for channel 36. Boom. Um, open or if you want to use the open network or, you know, password protected network, I'm going to go ahead and go to open. That's more easier. But anyways, open. You can go to go to manual. And you pretty much can set these to what you want. Um, we're going to go ahead and set it to one. Something that you remember. Two. One. Well, hold on. Two three four set and subnet mask um from the other guy's tutorial he said everything to 255 except for the last one i don't know anything about this stuff so don't ask me the details of it it works that's all i know set and then with the default gateway leave it at zero okay so everything is set up so from this screen you want to click ok click ok again and then you input your network configuration name. I already got one. It's called ABCDEFG. You got to be at least eight letters. Press OK. Or, you know, for you guys, you got to press input and then input all that stuff. Then press OK. Then go over to OK. Network configuration saved. After that, you want to leave out. Go up to, once you leave all the way out, back out to the main menu, go up to browser remote, which is right above network settings, turn it on. You take your phone, turn your phone on, and, all right, settings on your phone. Go ahead and put my phone right here so you guys can see. Turn that down a little bit. All right, move this out the way. We don't need that no more right now. Now, once you click on Wi-Fi, boom. All you do is look for it down here. There you go, ABC right there. For some reason on my phone, it always shows no, it always says no internet connection, but. So after that, you wanna go into, I got downloaded Chrome up on here. I noticed that Chrome works. So inside your browser, you wanna click one dot two dot three dot four all right so after that press go and then now we got everything set up and then we just click on live view and there we go mm -hmm. and that's how it's done real simple um it's a lot it's like a couple of menus to go through you know just make sure you go step by step have to keep on rewinding the video if you have to. It's not it's not all that hard, um, and pretty much that's it.
So with that said, thank you guys for watching. If it helped you out, leave a thumbs up. If you need help, leave comments down below. And it's been M. Lee on the films. And I'm out. Peace.